Okay, so timelines. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is just open up a new document. Uh, it doesn't matter what size, just whatever size you want to use. Then um, we want to see the actual timeline. So we're going to go to Window, go down here to Timeline. And then right here you see Create Frame Animation. We're going to click that. So you've got your frame here. Um, and this frame usually corresponds to the, the layer that's over here. So let's just add something to this layer. Um, let's just do quote. Make this nice and pretty. Sky. Center and map there. OK, so you can look down here and you can see that there is a quote. Um, you can see the graph there in the, in the frame corresponds to this. Um, this layer over here. So really all we want to do is um, for each layer, or sorry, each frame over here, we're going to show a layer. So um, let's see, we want to make this four frames. I'm going to drag this down here to make a new one. I'm going to do that two more times so we've got four frames. So four frames there. And now I'm going to hide the three that I don't want to see. So what we've got here is we've got four layers with different quotes on them, and then we've got four, or we got one frame over here. So we want four frames to correspond with our layers. So we, so this is a, this is a new frame button right over here. I'm gonna click that three more times. Um, so we've got four layers here. So this is a sort of tricky part. What you want to do is, um, for each of these frames, you want to show each layer. And so, um, actually, you know what? First, let's um, let's hide this. Let's change these quotes to. I'm just going to change this to quote two. Hide that. Show the next one. And I'll double click on this T. That's a quick way to be able to change the text here. Quote three. Click on it to get out of it. Hide that. And then oh, double click on that. And then that's quote four. Okay. So. Let's just hide them all for right now. And so for this quote, actually look at the sort of setup here for me. So the frame is showing quote, which you can see is showing on layer one here. So let's click to layer two. And you can see that over here in the layers, this first quote is still showing. So what you want to do is hide that and then see the next quote. So these are corresponding now. Click to the next frame. And you can see that the first quote is still showing up. So we want to hide that, show quote three, and then do that for quote four. And I guess on I must have hidden hid them all on, on the fourth frame. So let's show that one. So let's test this out. Actually, you can see down here that we've got zero seconds, zero seconds, zero seconds all across the board. And let's just say we want these to show for like three seconds each. I'm going to, sorry, I'll click the first one. I'm going to hold down shift the rest of them and you can um, this will drop down you can select let's just do two seconds for each of them you can now see that they all all change to two seconds so let's just click on the first one this is right here once this is how many times you want to repeat so let's just do once for now um, and you can hit play and watch the screen and each of these change yay animation so when you want to export that, um, you just go up here to File, Save for Web. And you have to make sure that this is, is a GIF. So we're going to pick that. And uh, you can right here again, you can test out your animation one more time if you want. Make sure everything's working. And you hit Save. And you're done. So that's frame animation.